In our continuing Eye on Education series, we're taking you on a virtual tour of universities and colleges in our area. And today, we're on the road to Greensburg to visit Seton Hill University. We heard from the Seton Hill president, and we'll hear from students ahead. But right now, Mikey Hood shows us how Seton Hill makes the admission process easy and affordable in the middle of a pandemic. We don't have an application fee. Which can help students save some money. And they're also test optional, allowing students to apply using only their high school transcripts, essay and letter of recommendation. ACT or SAT scores are not required. Starting in July, we've had on-campus face-to-face visits. Uh, we've changed our protocol completely um, so that when families come, uh, you know, we want to make sure they're safe as well as the campus community. And once you apply, there is not much of a wait to know if you were admitted. Once we get a student's completed file, again, whether they're test option or not, uh, within a week, the, the admission staff will review their file and, and, and make an admission decision and get back with them ASAP. And they know tuition needs to be affordable. Once a student has been admitted, um, you know, they'll be informed if they're eligible for a, a merit scholarship, and most are. And so that kind of kicks off the process. Seton Hill was uh, rated as one of the most affordable colleges in, in the U.S. News World Report, and we've awarded over $34 million in institutional grants and scholarships. For students and families who need additional financial help, they've recently established the Elizabeth Ann Seaton Scholarship Program for Pennsylvania residents graduating this spring. Most importantly, the admissions office works with families one-on-one -on -one along the journey. And those that come to Seaton Hill, we're, we're not looking to just fill a freshman class, we're looking to bring in graduates to the university. Mikey, thank you so much. Yeah, we love this series yeah. featuring colleges and universities. There's so much to learn about the opportunities for higher education right here in our area. And coming up, as promised, we're going to hear from the students at Seton Hill about campus life and their plans for the future.